Good morning, everybody, and welcome to a, for you, to your first glorious Wednesday of October. October, Wednesday, October the 6th, 2021, episode 499. That's right, 499. Tomorrow is episode 500. And it will be live somewhere between 1245 and... um. 1.30 p.m. So it ain't going to be a morning morning episode. So I'll say good. Hello once again. You know, that's the way I, I look when I start the thing. I'll go. Hello everybody. What's up everybody? <laughs> or I'll, I'll figure out what I'll say. So. But I won't say anything about good morning. I'll go, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to your morning Daily Devo afternoon. <laughs> but it's your episode 500 live. And that's all I'm going to put on the title, episode 500 live. That's all I'll put. And then the, descript the description will read the title and everything in there like I normally do, so... But, as soon as I get done with all these videos, I'm sitting here, going to be recording, I'll get them uploaded, so I can get um, Tuesday's videos put up. This is uh, Monday evening, so. And then I'll get, um, and I'll turn around after, while they're loading, I can go in there and set up the live stream for Thursday, for tomorrow. But an IRL would be set up Thursday because it's still Monday evening. So, but today is four ninety nine. Um, we're gonna be hastening his coming, starting with Acts one verse eight. If you're excited about having episode five hundred tomorrow, it's just one more day. If you're excited for me hitting that mark, then hit smash that like button. Comment what you liked and what what you expect. In the videos after 500 what you expect to just just assume what's gonna happen because I can already say another God video on Friday a God video on Sunday um the, the video on t the following Tuesday And then a lot of regular videos. A God video on Monday the 18th. God video on the 19th. The Duh on the 22nd. The Duh on the 30th. And then, as we move on into November, we start off with November with a regular, regular video, and then a the video on the second, and a God video on the third. So that's what's coming up in the next few weeks ahead. But hastening his coming, Acts one verse eight. If you're new here, smash that like button. Hit that, hit that notification bell. Well, you'll never miss another video and share the video and our channel with your family and friends and tell them to help me come to my channel and help me reach that 1000 subscriber goal to become an officially a good standing YouTube channel. Even if you can get it up to 500, I'll be happy. If, if you can get it to five, you can get me another 495 subscribers to subscribe to my channel I'd be I'd be happy to hit the halfway mark and then once I start getting more and more then I can start saying okay let's hit that 1000 goal now let's just see if I can get it get the channel to grow to 100 then get it to grow to 500 and then get it to 1,000. Let's do it that way. 
Let's get to 100 first. That'll be a small goal for you to get to. But then get it to 500 and then to 1,000. Let's double it from 5 to 1,000. See how fast it grows then. But I hope by the first of the year I can hit 1,000. I'm just saying, the first of the year I want to, I want to be at 1,000 by the first of the year of 2022. I want to make 2022 a YouTube year. So, But without further ado, hastening his coming. Acts 1 verse 8 says, But ye, are, ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. So these very familiar words of the Lord Jesus are commonly considered as a statement of his great commission, commanding us to go out into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Mark 16, 15. Actually, however, it is not given here as a command, but rather as a declarative statement, indeed a prophecy saying that we shall witness for him that we shall witness for him to the very ends of the earth. So then his disciples were promised that this same Jesus would return, Acts 111, with the promise clearly tied to the prophecy. And just a few weeks previously they had asked, What shall be the sign of thy coming? In Matthew 24:3. And Jesus had answered, verse 14, The gospel of the kingdom shall be preached into all, in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Okay. So Mark recorded his answer very simply in Mark 13, 10. The gospel must first be published among all nations. And even Peter says that the Lord may seem to have de delayed the promise of his coming because he is long-suffering, not willing that any should perish, which is urging us to account that the long-suffering of our Lord is salvation. 2 Peter 3, and 4, 3, 4, 9, and 15. Which suggesting that we should be looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God. 2 Peter 3, 12. So we can hardly draw any conclusion from such passages that if we want the Lord to return quickly, we can hasten his coming by fulfilling his command and his prophecy, doing whatever we can to publish his gospel among all nations. And that's kind of what I'm doing here with my YouTube, with these devos. I'm sharing the, the these devos from these books with others so it's there to, to try to reach people all over the world or however far that YouTube goes. I know it goes into other countries but I want to try to have my devos reach other parts of the world and maybe have somebody come to Christ in another country because of what they got out of my one of my devos. Now if I ever find that out after I start getting the channel growing and somebody does that, I would love them to comment that because of this devo, I just accepted Christ as my Lord and Savior. And if I see that ever on one of my devos, I'll probably pass out from it. But I will, I will appreciate it if that ever happens. I will appreciate it so, so dearly. But lastly, his coming days, his coming has always been intimate, imminent because the, this could well have been done and can be done at any time. But it evidently has not been done yet. So until the world 
The word is preached unto all the world. Once that is accomplished, then God will come back. Or he sees that it has reached the world as far as it can go. Then he will come back and fix the world the way it should be. Take us Christians home with him to heaven. Fix the world the way it should be. And then all of us will come join in harmony in New Jerusalem. No more tears. No more pain. No more hurting. No more sin in all New Jerusalem. And I believe, I'll be on a shadow of a doubt, when we get to New Jerusalem, we'll go back to living the way we are now. We'll have a we'll have a job, we'll have a a life. We'll probably be even able to age again. We'll probably be able to um, have a family of our own. We'll be able to procreate. And this time with procreation, the uh, children born in, into the world will not have to worry about sin anymore. They're born into a clean world and they won't ever have to worry about forgiveness for their sins. They'll be born and they can live a life free. And not have to worry about being becoming a Christian. They'll be born a Christian. That's what I'm trying to say. I believe that's going to happen. When New Jerusalem is built, we'll be able to come, we'll be able to come, live our life like we normally do. We we have a schedule to keep. We can we can live with our significant loved ones in our own groups. We can go back to living with our loved ones that had gone on before. Our whole extended family can live in one area and we can live peacefully for for eternity. So. But that's all I have for today. Coming up tonight in your Wednesday Turning Point Devo for Wednesday, October the 6th, 2021 in episode 58. All right, yeah. Stop and think. Excuse me. Just give me just a second. I'm adjusting my position in my, my seat. Sorry about that. But we're going to be talking about divine immunization. Again, that's a hard word for me to say today. We're going to be starting with 1 Corinthians 13, 13. Your recommended reading is 1 Thessalonians 1, 1 through 3. And your turning point is from Timothy Paul Jones. And we're reading chapters 12 and 13 of Matthew in your daily reading. So stay tuned for that. I'll get to that in just a few minutes. But until then, I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on and trust in God and He'll keep you safe in all you say and do. And until later, peace out, everybody. <whistles> Goodbye. God bless. Have a wonderful rest of your glorious Wednesday. Come back again tonight for your Turning Point Evening Devo after 7. See you then. Goodbye.